A lot of memories in this place. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Glen Ellen. We were here for six years. This is where it all started. A lot of cool projects. You know, it's felt like home for a long time. We gotta custom cut this bumper? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about it. So what are we doing to this bumper? <laughs> doing it custom. <laughs> Do it like you're just talking to me. Like you don't even have to look at the camera. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's on to bigger and better things. Wait till it Welcome to Lombard. What's up, dude? What's happening? For, for those of you who don't know, this is Greg, my business partner. How's everything going back there? Well, good. We've got the water done, all the electricals in. There's still some delays on uh, the, the clean room, but okay. they're making good progress. Yeah. How's the uh, lobby? Lobby's looking good. The lobby looks awesome. Got all the signs up. Everything's level. Good. Yeah, <laughs> everything is level. Straight. I did it myself. <laughs> All right, kitchen floors are in. The kitchen cabinets will be here in about two weeks. Stuff's painted, the doors are painted. Yeah, you can smell the new paint. Well, since last time you guys seen uh, what was going on here, we have exterior doors now so we can pull cars in. They had to actually put these iron beams in, supports for the doors. Yeah, the wall was really weak and it was wavy. And so we put the big holes in it, it's like a shoe box with no lid on it, yeah. so we had to reinforce it. So doors are in, that's nice. Uh, you guys, you had a crew in here a couple weeks ago doing all the, all the hoses for the chemical dispensing system. That all went well. Yeah, we knocked that out pretty quick. You can got these drops from the ceiling there uh, with all the chemicals in it, just like all of our other shops. We just finished working on all the car wash or the wash bay. Let's go check out the wash bay. He did all the electrical work. <laughs> So we got construction guys in here, we got our guys in here, we're forced to move in here, so we're still working on cars. This is a nice Land Rover that we're doing, uh, I think we're just doing some polishing, then we're doing BSO8 on it. Yeah. Sweet. So this is our wash bay. This is set up with all the chemicals in it. Yeah, so the, the real in improvement that we've made here is trying to make it as efficient as possible. Every side of the car, you can have a guy working on each side of the car, and we got two wash bays. So we got all the chemicals that we use right on tap. This one's my favorite. <laughs> uh, storage room, that's coming along nice, huh? Washer and dryer are in. Uh, the chemical mixing board, we wanted to put everything in this room so we can keep it as quiet as possible out in the bays. Uh, air compressor, we were thinking about getting the rotary screw air compressor. Yeah, it was a really expensive, so we decided just to put it in here instead. Yeah, what was this, like three or $4,000 cheaper? Yeah. And it's nice to have a rotary screw. They are quiet, but since we're putting it in this room anyways, uh, this will work just fine. What is that, a seven and a half horsepower? It's five horsepower. 50 gallon. It was a lot cheaper to go with a 50 gallon. Like just that small increase in the tank size was a big bump. And, and we don't have that real high uh, need for air. Yeah. I mean, it powers these little tiny pumps. We use it to clean the pads. There's not a ton there. Yeah. Uh, the Kranzel pressure washer unit will be going up here, uh, getting the support system for that, and then we'll hook everything up. Yeah, Jimmy did, uh, he built, he's built these shelves, he painted them. We're gonna mount that first one, uh, and then we're gonna get two more of them uh, in the next couple weeks. We just tested the water supply to make sure we're getting seven gallons per minute of water. Each one of these draws about two gallons per minute. So we wanted to make sure we had enough water for all of it, and so the plumbers got that all sorted away, so we've got plenty of water supply. What else we got going on? These last two bays are gonna be about another week out. Okay. 
but that shouldn't be a problem. We, can, we still got plenty of light in here. We were just hoping that solves the problem of the guys having to use their little flashlight for inspections all the time. We talked about that in another episode where these three bays are gonna all have spotlights. So those will be kind of the exterior bays. And then these will be the interior bays, because those spotlights will be nice for paint correction. You can see the tracks are in place. They just got to get the heads. And apparently, there was a problem where they sent our lights to another company. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's looking good, getting organized. You want to go check out the clean room? Yeah, it's not finished yet, but let's go check it out. They did a little bit. They got the ceiling in there. <laughs> All right, so they just got the ceiling finished. I know they were sanding it this morning. Still got to paint it. We have all our peel boards in. Uh, they painted them black on the outside, so then they can put the film up there and it's easy to see where they need to cut. Still need to do lights in here. Yeah, so they got to paint it first. So they're going to start the painting uh, tomorrow. Okay. And then the electrician hopes that by Saturday he'll have all the lights in. And then we can clean it and get to work. Got the garage doors in. They were kind of worried that we weren't going to have them in time. And those look great. And those are just manual operating doors. Yeah, so we got, they didn't put any handles on because the handles were really ugly looking. So we've got manual pull. We'll have to see if how easy or difficult it's going to be for the guys to manage these things. You know, you don't want to just throw them up. And then once it goes, you know, if you don't want to pull it down, so I'm thinking we might want to put a handle along the bottom or maybe a, a rope on the other side. I love these windows here. Yeah. Yeah, the guys were trying to clean it and I said, let them finish painting it yeah. before you clean it. We're thinking four of these bays are going to be for window tin paint protection film. And then the last two are going to be for coating just in the summer, especially when the humidity's up. That'll be a nice area to do that. We got some problems we want to look at. The concrete in the wash bay is chipping. Yeah, it's really bad around the edges. I talked to John about the problem where some of it's going to go under the door. You want to go take a look at that? I'll show you what he had in mind. So what we're finding is that this all pitches very nice where we redid the concrete. Anything that gets out here is going straight into the wall. So I talked to John and he said, we'll be able to put that rubber molding along the bottom and if they just silicone caulk it, that'll stop it. It's gonna, so you think it's going to puddle up here? Well, it, it, it does and especially here, It'll freeze when it's really cold out, you know, the cold air. You yeah. can see it's already happening. Something got wet in here. Um, so we're going to, I thought we could use some self-leveling caulk and just fill it, you know, like you patch a driveway. And John suggested the, as seen on TV, you know, the guy who makes a boat out of. <laughs> I saw this boat in half. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's like, you paint this whole area with that. You'd have to, we'll have to clean up all of the, um, we'll have to clean up all the paint because this paint's so old. But yeah, something like that, but just to rubberize it. Oh, he also had a solution for this wall. He said, because you can spray it with, they've used a rubberized coating that you can spray and use it for the outside of the building. Sheds water really well, and that should be all we need. Yeah. And so he's gonna get me a price on spraying this with a rubberized coating. I'll get a quote from uh, EPI for their x Tech plastic, and we'll see which makes more sense. So these walls are both sheetrock walls. They're just drywall. We don't want to get them wet. I mean, it's green board, yeah. so it's not gonna like mold or anything. But, but that's for moisture. Like you don't want to yeah. be spraying water. You don't want to get them wet, hard to clean. We were gonna put that bathroom stuff in there, that textury stuff. That'll look ugly. It's you know, it's it's not that ugly, but with the seams, every four feet you're gonna have a seam. For now, we're just gonna use the one bay in the middle, and then once we get this wall sorted out, we'll put the last drop in. There you go. It's an update. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. The construction guys are still here. A lot of stuff to still do, but we're in here working. We're working around each other, making it happen. Uh, we'll check back in another couple weeks when everything is in, everything's settled. We got lights, we got the clean room going. So make sure you subscribe so you can get that notification and uh, come visit us. See you next time.